Right, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. So we are doing revision on SIRTS, and the first thing we're going to do is uh, put our pens down and listen. Thank you. So simplifying SIRTS. What do we do in simplification? Oh, you also quite. Do we make them bigger? No. What are we trying to do? Making what does simplification? Raising hands, please, Nick. Yes. Making them smaller. What do you mean by making them smaller? Them in the most simplest form. Exactly. We want to take anything that is a perfect square out of the third sign, the root sign, and then whatever the lowest possible number inside the root sign. Remember that? Okay. So now we are going to write twenty as a product of two numbers. What does product mean? Um. The two numbers that made 20? Yeah, multiplication. So what's two numbers times together to give you 20? So I need a list of numbers here that times together to give me 20. 10 times 2. Yeah, 10 times 2 is 1. Another possible combination? 5 times 4. 5 times 4, I like that one. Another one? Is that all? What about 20 times 1? That's all the combinations I can think of. Do we all agree with that? Yeah, yeah. Now, out of this, we only want 1. And the 1 <coughs> which has a perfect square in it. So what are our perfect squares? So what 1 squared is? 1. Is 1 a perfect square? Yes. yes. 2 squared is? 4. So is 4 a perfect square? Yes. 3 squared is? 9. Is 9 a perfect yes. square? Yes. yes. So I gave you a list of first, 20, first 15 perfect squares, right? Yes. Check out that list please. It should be on the last page of your summary books. And tell me, out of this 10 or 20, any of these perfect squares? No, 20 and one. Do we need this one? No. Because it'll just give us the same answer. So, is 4 times 5 the most appropriate one? Yes. yes. Awesome. Now, we have written 20 as root 20 as root 4 times root 5 because 4 is a perfect square. Pens down, eyes on the board. You don't need to copy anything. Now, what is square root of 4 equal to? 2. 2. So, can I write root 4 as 2? Yes. And then this becomes 2 times root 5? Yes. Can I make it pretty now and just write 2 root 5? I don't need to put that time sign. Yes. And that's it. We have simplified that. Happy? Yes. Awesome. Pens down, please. For the final time, I'm telling you to stop writing and just listen. Root 48. Again, factors of 48. Factor pairs. Two numbers that times together to give us 48. So we're going to start with? 24 times 2. 24 times 2, yes. Another possible combination? Uh, 12 times 4. 12 times 4. Another? 16 times 3. 16 times 3. Okay, which one is the one we'll use? 24, is that a perfect square? No. no. Is 2 a perfect square? No. no. So this is not useful to us. However, it's correct that they do add uh, times together to give us 48. 12 and 4 are good because 4 is a perfect square. However, 16 times 3 is perfect because we're not going to need to simplify it any further. Is 16 a perfect square? Yes. yes. Do you have a question? Um, can you do 6 times 8? Again, 6 and 8, none of, neither of them are perfect squares. Oh. So yet, there's no point of writing it as 6 times. It's a good question. Even though there's a lot of possible combinations of two numbers that times together to give 48, we need at least one of them to be perfect square. So, can I write 48 as root 16 times root 3? Yes. What is root 16 equal to? 4. Yes. Awesome. Then I, do I need to write it this way or make it prettier? Yeah. Prettier. 4 to 3. Answer? Awesome. Next one. Now, what if there is already a number? What do we do with this number? Just keep writing it and times it in the end. So, 2 times. 45, what are the different ways I can write 45? 9 times 5. Yep, 9 times 5. Is 9 a perfect square? Yes. Are yes. so you pretty happy with that combination? Yes. yes. So I'm going to write 45, root 45 as root 9 times root 5. Do not drop this 2 or eat it or, you know, lose it. It, it, it is there. So 2 times. Root 9 is? 3. Root 5? So it's root 5 can't be written in an exact form other than root 5. What do we do with this 2 and 3? What symbol do they have? Multiple. What is 2 times 3? Awesome. You guys are really smart. Thank you. 6 root 5. Make sense? Thank you. Next one. 8 root 12. Again, 8 times. What can I write root 12 as? Two numbers. At least one of them a perfect square. 
Four and three. I'm happy with that. Is everyone happy with that? Yes. Awesome. I like happy faces. Yes. What is root four equal to? Two. 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 So eight times two. What's eight times two? Sixteen. Sixteen root three. How about root thirty? This is my favorite question, and you'll know why. Oh, you can't. Don't tell me the answers right away. What are the possible numbers that times together to give 30? 15 times 2. Okay, yep. What are the different factors of 30? 1 times 30 is going to give us 30. 2 times 15. Is that it? 3 times 10. That's it. I forgot about that one. Any other numbers? Now, are there any factor, any factor of 30? Is there any factor of 30 that is a perfect square? No. No. So what, what's going to happen? Can't simplify. Can't simplify. So this is actually simplified. That's it. Cannot be simplified further. Awesome. So um, we'll finish this and then we'll do writing as an entire set, opposite of simplification. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. And how long was it?